everyone and we will continue our thermodynamics series and before moving on to the next topic let's settle this thing so we have studied in class 11th that you know work in physics is often written as p dv and which is a positive quantity and when we switched on to chemistry their work suddenly became minus p dv and the equations that we studied in the previous lecture became minus w so which one is correct this one chemistry side or this one physics side so this is uh, this is you know very doubtful topic and i was also confused for a long time but now i know the reason and the you know one word answer will be reference it's all about reference so let's settle this thing So, as I told you that there are two works, but we have to know why these works are positive or negative. So, we'll take a simple system of cylinder and piston. So, we know there is some external pressure here, which is P external. And there is some internal pressure due to gases, which is P internal. Now, in physics, and uh, here let's write chemistry. So, in physics, what we generally, you know, refer is, we want to know, we want to know, to know, work done by the gases. Work done by the gases. So, work done by the gases means, if there are gases, they will apply some sort of force which will you know move the piston upwards so that will be the work done by the gases and here in chemistry what we always uh, you know see is we want to know you know work done against p external so <clears throat> you can go and uh, check the textbooks as well in chemistry it is generally written that we want to know work done against some external pressure uh, and in physics it is written as work done by the gas that is work done by internal pressure so that's the basic difference in physics the reference is this internal pressure whereas in chemistry the reference is external pressure that's why we you know come up with negative sign here and positive sign here okay if not clear let me know move further so we know that work is nothing but f dot ds which is a vector quantity it will come if we write it as f times ds times cos theta so this is the cos theta thing now you know we can just multiply and divide by area so this ds times a will become volume and f by a will become pressure that's how we write pdv cos theta so we all know that work is i will just rub this thing i guess we all know this already that work i can write simply as pressure times volume times cos theta now <clears throat> we want to know work done by the gas so gas will exert pressure in this direction and displacement will be in this direction ds this is the pressure this is the displacement so p dot dv times theta here theta is what zero so work is nothing but p times dv so you can see why it is positive here now let's see why in chemistry it's negative again work is we know p v cos theta but here we want to know work done against external pressure so the pressure is now external pressure so p is this and work done is same ds so what is the angle between p and this nothing but 180 degrees and cos of 180 is minus 1 that's why work is minus pd 
<coughs> so I hope this you no know, makes things clear. By work in physics is written as PDV and it is written as minus PDV in chemistry. It's all about the reference. In chemistry, we want to know the work done against P external in almost all the cases. That's why we take you know work as negative. And here we want to do work done by the gases. So just remember this thing, this boxes, and it will be you know good for exams. So I hope you understand. And just uh, summing up, just write delta U as Q plus W and put W as plus PDV in physics and minus PDV in chemistry. So just don't get worried what to put. So I hope you understand. Uh, please write the comments if there is any doubt. Thank you.